Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. Alright, if you remember, in the previous session, we made a section related to the list for the users and did the deleting. Now we are at the very important point where we are going to separate the users. All the users do not have to check all the sections of our site and need not have access to all the parts. Okay? In order to have such a system on our site that separates the accessibility of the users and limits them in a way, what we need to do is to use one of two methods. The first is the basic and unprofessional one in which we are going to make a field in the admin app called, for instance, act, showing the activity or the activity of the users to show the state of users activity. We are going to make a field and then give it a value uh, of zero or of one value in a boolean format so that if it was one the user can access this section and if it was zero he is not going to be allowed to access that section all right uh, this is uh, the first method that comes to mind and is very simple to use but on the other hand it is not such a secure method anyway why because as soon as our database is damaged and is infiltrated it can easily be broken in and it is not such a secure thing to rely on a integer field for the accessibility so what should we do okay uh, if you remember uh, we used to talk about uh, the group we said we can make groups and also the users that we have on our site we can give them permission we can register the user in groups with separate permissions or we can give exclusive permissions to users as you can see okay so uh, there are a series of permissions in my group any app that i make for permissions called add change delete and view are added to it in its section as its permissions now at first we are going to work with permissions we are not going to work with integer fields we are going for instance to make a group for users or admins give them some accessibility and limit their accessibility to some degrees and join the ones or the users that we want to the groups and based on the accessibility they can have access to our website different section on it and the admin group we can give each one of the admin the accessibility uh, that we can define uh, we can define some basic accessibilities in a group for example where every new admin would be able to use a certain amount of accessibility on that group now we are going to do all of this stuff to our sites panel we won't have to make any uh, new groups in the Django uh, we can do it through our admin give the user this permission we are going to do all this stuff through our own view and our own panel admin in each user we are going to do this but the problem with listing the permissions uh, that I can see over here is that uh, there are a series of ready-made permissions here we don't want to have them here we just want the ones that I we are going to make and are going to be shown in our admin so uh, we what we need to do is to raise these permissions and then we can do whatever we want with our own to do so first i need to register the permission in one of the apps on my main or project in the admin i register my permission uh, let's see i say from django dot uh, let's say constrip dot out dot okay models and that's right uh, import import what 
permission okay let's see and then I say admin dot uh, site dot register what should it register you may ask permission okay save and refresh the Django admin as you see the permission section has activated for me here if we enter it we would be able to see the permissions that we could choose from okay here we can add new permissions or we can delete them we are going to uh, use all the permissions uh, but right now we don't need them so we just remove them we delete them yes that's right all the permissions are deleted because when we are going to show the list of permissions these are going to be shown to me the point is that when we are going to set a permission the two fields are here a name you can write it in any language as you would like to write it in it can be written in your native language for instance for allowing the registration of a news what matters is the code name you can define this code name in English and then say for which app this is being uh, said and because we are going to make the permissions we are not going to separate the apps because we are going to make permissions we choose a main app and the project app and through the admin we add any new permission that we make to be addressed to that project but you can set any of these permissions separately you can determine to which section this permission is delegated to the news groups uh, any other groups uh, that you want and uh, here right now uh, for educational purposes we add all the permissions to one app you can set a drop down section anywhere so that you can show and choose to which section news settings etc it belongs or any other section that you like if uh, if not you can set all of them in the main app as I will be doing here in this course so at first what we did was to delete all the ready-made permissions now before we deal with individual permissions and try to define them what we need to do is to work with groups here for instance we can make a new group with a name of our choice and then choose from the permissions at first we want to make a group for instance called manager permissions and then we are going to work on the administrative permissions or managerial permissions and at first we are going to make groups so that the admin has accessibility to make new groups for the site or otherwise it will be able to uh, add or delete the groups at first we are going to make a group then add a user to it then add permissions and move on step by step so at first we are going to make a group that's what we are going to do in the next session we are going to use this group give it some special permissions and the user that we add to this group is going to have access to the permissions that we give to the group.